Hello friends, here we are going to learn previous year question and answers related to literary theory in English literature asked in the net set examinations. Important questions on literary theory and English literature. These previously asked questions are based on uh, uh, the theoretical concepts genres, movements, schools and all these topics. Which of the following is not a feminist writer? Helen Sigzos, Kate Millett, Ellen Showalter, Barbara Cartland. The correct answer is Barbara Cartland. Here, Helen Sigzos, Kate Millett and Ellen Showalter these three are the very influential feminist writers, whereas Barbara Cartland is not. Let us see the very important works of these authors. Helen Sigzor's influential essay is The Love of the Medusa, which is published in the year 1975. The Love of the Medusa, 1975, Helen Sigzor's Influential essay. Next, Kate Millett's famous work is Sexual Politics. 1970 work, Sexual Politics, is considered a landmark in the feminist literature. And we all know that Ellen Showalter is a very famous writer in, in the feminist genre. Her notable work is A Literature of Their Own. British women novelist from Bronte to Lessing. A literature of their own British women novelist from Emily Bronte to Doris Lessing. 1977 work, Ellen Showalter's very famous work, this is. Here, Barbara Cartland is not a feminist writer. She is known for her romance novels. Structuralism owes its origin to Jacques Lacan, Noam Chomsky, Ferdinand de Saussure, Homi J. Baba. The correct answer is Ferdinand de Saussure. Structuralism as a theoretical framework owes its origin to Ferdinand de Saussure. A Swiss linguist. His remarkable work, Course in General Linguistics, laid the great foundation for structuralism. Which of the following belongs to the school of new criticism? Clint Brooks, John Dryden, Murray Krieger, W. H. Auden. The correct answer is Clint Brooks. Clint Brooks is associated with the school of new criticism. New critics focused on the formal aspects of a text, such as structure, imagery, language, etc. And they sought to interpret the work based solely on these elements without considering external factors such as the author's intentions or historical context like that. Here the answer is Clint Brooks who is associated with the school of new criticism. The notion of collective unconscious was developed by Carl Jung, Sigmund Freud, Jacques Lacan, Edler. The correct answer is Carl Jung. He was a Swiss psychoanalyst, proposed the concept of the collective unconscious as part of his analytical psychology. Here, the concept of archetypes and the hypothesis of collective unconscious, these two were the better known ideas of Carl Jung. The archetypes and collective unconscious 1959 by Carl Jung. The Craft of Fiction is written by Clint Brooks, Henry James, Percy Lubbock, E.M. Foster. The correct answer is E.M. Foster. The Craft of Fiction is a book written by E.M. Foster 
and it was uh, first published in 1927 and is considered a valuable uh, resource for understanding the art and techniques of fiction writing land and sea give themselves up to jollity and with the heart of may doth every beast keep holiday these lines exemplify pathetic fallacy transferred epithet simile synecdoc the correct answer is pathetic fallacy pathetic fallacy is a literary device in which human emotions are attributed to inanimate objects the central concept of existentialism is rejection of pessimism a realization of nothingness acceptance of predeterminism protest against fatalism the correct answer is a realization of nothingness existentialism it is a philosophical and literary movement that emphasizes individual existence and freedom the absence of inherent meaning or purpose in life existentialists believe that individuals have the freedom to define their own essence or meaning in life through their choices and actions feminism is a term introduced by march pearcy tony morrison alice walker or delorde uh the correct answer is alice walker the term feminism was introduced by alice walker in her collection of essays titled in search of our mother's gardens feminist prose published in 1983 she coined the term feminism to describe a black feminist ideology that focuses on the experiences struggle and uh, empowerment of black women new historicism was propounded by stephen greenbald mikhail bakhtin william wimsatt terry eagleton the correct answer is stephen greenbald new historicism is a literary theory which has emerged in the late 20th century it focuses on the relationship between literature and its historical context considering literary works as a products of specific historical moments and social conditions stephen greenbald is an influential literary critic and scholar known for his book renaissance self fashioning from thomas more to shakespeare which is considered a fundamental text for new new historicism can the subaltern speak is a treatise written by gayatri chakravarti spivak homije baba is as ahmed edward said the correct answer is gayatri chakravarti spivak she is an influential post colonial theorist and literary critic spivak's scholarship focuses on the subaltern a term she borrows from antonio gramsci referring to marginalized and oppressed groups who are excluded from dominant discourses and structures of power her notable works are in the worlds essays in cultural politics death of discipline outside in the teaching mission a critic of post colonial reason toward a history of the vanishing present the novels of iris murdoch deals with existentialism marxism theology spiritualism the correct answer is theology murdoch a british author and philosopher the bell is a very famous work which explores the themes of faith and morality also deals with the clash between idealism and reality and murdoch's another important work is the green knight published in 1993 this novel retells the medieval tale of sir gawain and the green knight exploring the themes of uh, morality love and uh, the search for meaning the novels of eris murdoch deals with theology let us learn few literary terms now 
Which of the following is an example of synecdoche? The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew. Give us this day our daily bread. A little more than kin and less than kind. A little learning is a dangerous thing. The correct answer and the correct example for synecdoche is a little more than kin and less than kind. Synecdoche is a figure of speech in which a part of something is used to represent the all or the all is used to represent a part. And especially this line is taken from Shakespeare's play Hamlet. Here, the use of kin and kind, these two kin and kind or the representative parts of a synecdoche conveying the larger idea through the smaller representation. Another example is, the pen is mightier than the sword. Here, pen represents written words or literature while sword represents violence or warfare. The synecdoche highlights the power of words over physical force. What is the basic meter of the following line? And the sheen of their spears was like stars on the sea. Iambic, trochee, ductile, anapist. The correct answer is ductile. In ductilic meter, a stressed syllable is followed by two unstressed syllables. The best known use of ductilic verse is in the epics attributed to the Greek poet Homer, the Iliad and the Odyssey. Hickory Dickory Dock This line is from a nursery rhyme consists of three ductiles with each stressed syllable followed by two unstressed syllables. The term apocryphal refers to works wrongly attributed to an author, minor works of an author, Last works of an author, collaborative work done by an author. The correct answer is works wrongly attributed to an author. The term apocryphal refers to works that are incorrectly attributed to a particular author. These works are uh, considered to be of uncertain authorship. This term Apocryphal is commonly used in reference to religious texts such as the Gnostic texts uh, associated with early Christianity. The term apocryphal refers to works wrongly attributed to an author. The rhyme scheme of the Shakespearean sonnet is Among these options, the correct answer is A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. Shakespeare's sonnets are composed of 14 lines divided into three quatrains and ends with a couplet. Rhyming A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. This rhyme scheme is also known as the English sonnet. The Spenserian stanza has 6 lines, 7 lines, 8 lines, 9 lines. The correct answer is... 8 lines. The Spenserian stanza has 8 lines. The Spenserian stanza is a verse form named after Edmund Spencer. He uses this form in his epic poem, The Fairy Queen, consisting of 8 iambic pentameters and an alexandrine with rhyming scheme A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C, C. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon in front of them, valid and thundered. The dominant meter in these lines is, among these options, correct answer is trochee. A trochee is a metrical foot in poetry, which consists of one stressed syllable followed by one unstressed syllable. It is the opposite of an iron. Where I am pattern is one unstressed syllable followed by one stressed syllable. Here, a few more examples for trochee used in the poetry. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. Double, double, toil and trouble. Which is from Shakespeare's Macbeth. 
पीटर पीटर पम्पकिन ईटर मदर गुज राइम ब्रेक 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 बाय ओल्फ्रेड टेनिसन दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर ट्रॉकी एन इमेज इज अ डायरेक्ट कंपेरिजन अ वेग मैटफर अ मेंटल पिक्चर ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अ सब्टल रेपिटेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज अ मेंटल पिक्चर ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एन इमेज इज अ मेंटल पिक्चर ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सीन कॉन्सेप्ट और एनी वर्चुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज फॉर्म्ड इन द माइंड एन इमेज कैन इन्वॉल्व वेरियस सेंसरी एस्पेक्ट्स नॉट जस्ट विजुअल एज इट कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड साउंड स्मेल स्टेज एंड टेक्सचर्स दे प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल इन कॉग्निशन कम्युनिकेशन एंड क्रिएटिविटी थैंक यू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर फ्यूचर एग्जाम